Yeah. So how do you keep the uh, spark? The spark? Uh, it's hard, but I feel like it, the more I, the more you try, but the more it's it's not gonna work. But before, because we did we did try it. But yeah, but I don't know. But now, when you mo parang it, but now it's different. But now it's different. Mahirap pa nga eh. Huwag mo na isipin that, uh, siguro na lang. Kasi before ganun, inisip ko lang ngayon. Like before when it take forever more dolce, wala kami inisip, hindi kami nagtatry masyado. Like anin, chemistry ganun. Wala eh. Parang, di ba, parang cringy masyado kapag halatang nagpapagaling or ganun. So it's, ano eh. I think to make it feel so natural is the hardest thing. Yung tipong, hindi ka talaga nagtatry. Pero yun, yun ang mahirap na part para sa akin. I think I keep the spark, like, like um, the love for my craft, um, through my family and through my loved ones. Cause I, I'm constantly like at the back of my head. I always want a good life for them. And um, since I'm the breadwinner, I have like a lot to. I have to keep working and like help support a lot of people. So, but and they're always at the back of my mind, pushing me and telling me that I have I have to work. I have to do better each time so that. I'll keep getting projects, of course. So, yeah, it's that. It's actually kind of what our story is about. So, that's a benefit. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Burns. Our next question. Oh, na matay na. Congratulations, this guy. Nice to see you again yes, after a long time, di ba? Parang ah, uh, tanong ko lang kung ano yung pinaka challenging part of your shoot sa. Croatia, kung saan eh, kumbaga, this is a different kind of digital and of platform that you will show. Ano yung mga na-encounter yung problem? Um, super onti lang kasi yung Philippine team namin na nandun. So, we really had to help each other like, magbuhat din ng gamit and everything. So, mostly yung mga boys. Yun. <laughs> so, yung mga locations din ata. Yeah. Very, very Far very apart. Very so, very lagi kami nag-travel. Um, also, the language barrier, I guess, like the communication with the Philippine staff and the Croatian team. Parang minsan nakakaroon ng miscommunication because they don't really understand. Um, but I, th I think everything went pretty smooth naman. I think, it, it, yeah, it was pretty smooth. Hindi, walang, wala talagang difficulties na sobrang parang, oh my God, hindi matatapos to. Walang ganun feeling. So, I, I'm really happy that everything w went well there. Yeah, we we were able to finish most of the scenes. Actually, almost all the scenes na kailangan namin to So I think it was pretty good. We shot like almost a hundred plus scenes. I, I think the biggest challenge is yung Dubrovnik. Uh, oh, yeah. Is tourist spot. Eh, dumating kami ng peak season. Peak season. <laughs> so merong dala dalawa or tatlo na mga uh, ship, ships, cruise ships, 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 and. Uh, and it's like it's basically ha having na uh, five thousand na extra na wala wala ka control. Yeah. So yeah, and then in Croatia you're not allowed. Hindi pa ding sitahin or you yeah. can't say you don't look. You can't do that. And uh, the, the the fun thing and the good thing is, uh, itong dalawa because they're portraying their characters. For example, in one scene, ang perfect ng shot biglang may dumang nakakantahan, and then you have the character of uh, Gabo suddenly joining, I mean, Enrique was uh, uh, snappy enough and uh, na mabilis siyang nag-adjust kasi sayang yung ano, yung wala ng araw and then say, <laughs> at yung araw doon ang bilis, di ba? Yeah, so, very. So, things like that. Yung, yung Dubrovnik ang pinaka-challenging for them but uh, the good thing about this is sport lahat so uh, uh, they can easily adjust, di ba? Uh, alam niya kapag second take, tatakbo agad at babalik sa kanya marker, etc, etc. That's why it's easy working with this kyan, lalo na pag uh, nasa abroad. So. Direct, uh, syempre of course, yung, ano, yung nagkaroon kayo ng permit, di ba? Pero bawal pa rin talagang i-secure yung place, parang ganun, parang hindi mo yes, pwedeng may meron kaming permit, basically. Mga crowd person. Yes, pwede, ano, kasi nga, uh, that's, a, that's a historical spot. So, Mas importante sa kanila that the that the tourists are appreciating culture, and history, etc., etc. Unless is even even Game of Thrones has a shoot ng winter, uh, ng walang tao don and basically pay gazillions of dollars to shut down the 
the, the whole place. So, and meron lang kaming eon of the, a few couple of bucks lang ang meron kami. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so uh, it's, 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 it's very challenging. I mean, uh, uh, we, we knew coming in from our research and from our understanding na mahirap. Pero nung nakita namin, eh, iba din pala yung level. It's one of, because of, uh, because of Game of Thrones and the likes, uh, grabe yung popularity kasi bigla. Uh, in one season, they can have one to two million tourists coming there. I mean, they are near a rival na nila Rome, even ang Paris in terms of tourists. So, um, but it was fun kasi nga, uh, uh, everyone is uh, coming in ang meeting, uh, uupo sila sa meeting, everyone has to improvise, be in character, they are being asked to be in character basically in 2-3 minutes, and be in character the whole day para hindi namin ma-disrupt as much as possible or baka i-deport kami mga Croatia kapag dinisrupt namin na buong process nila. Tanong ko lang rin yung encounter nyo with your fans. Alam naman natin all over the world may mga Filipino, di ba? Yes po. Yung... Kayo ba may mga fans club kayo yes, na-encounter? Yes po. Marami doon, marami mga Pinoy na buwa ba ka? Fans though, there. Actually, galing sila sa mga cruise ships. Yeah, from the cruise ships. Hindi sila nakatira doon kasi... Pag konti lang talaga. Croatia only has how many Filipinos? 100 something. Yeah, ang konti lang talaga doon sa... The whole of Croatia. So, parang never kami naka-encounter ng mga Pinoy na nakatira talaga doon except for the two nakasama namin na from there were working with us. So, pero maraming galing sa cruise ship na... Doon sa mga cruise ship na buha ba ba, atas mga cruise shopping lang, mga bibili or gano'n, yun nakikita, nakikita nila kami na sin Papa Picture. Atas babalik na, at mabilis lang kami sila kasi may ano pa kami, baka malit sila. So, marami Pinoy doon, marami doon. This is good to see. And then on, I like your look, no? How do you, how do you, ano, teach other, how do you describe or how do you assess yung bagong look nyo. Parang pagpasok ka nila, kala ko may foreign. <laughs> may mga foreign <laughs> guest tayo. How, how do you assess? Ikaw ba, Liz? Uh, Enrique, how do you assess yung look ni Liza now? Uh, I love the hat. Kaso tabing eh. Diyo ko It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Siyempre, it was beautiful as you made it. She's always, she always looks amazing. Sabi ba kayo nagpakulot? I mean, sabi, sabi kayo nagpakurl ng girl. Opo, dun sa vet. Sa wala ng girl. Ina-assert siya sa hair niya kasi parang K-pop-ish. Kasi we we had our hair. He had his hair permed at yeah. Zero One Story Salon. Yung na na nagagawa talaga nun. He's really Korean. French ni Ryan Bang. So, ako nagpapapapo ako. Eh, oh, wow. Ina-assert siya ng mama niya eh. But me and Andy, his sister, love it because we're like so strongly influenced by the Korean like fashion industry and makeup industry so that's what I'm inspired by yeah and mas gusto mo ba yung ganyang look ni ni Enrique kaysa mas straight yung hair niya How... I think I like it kasi mas my volume and parang mas my character yung mukha niya mas <laughs> 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 Is this your first time na magpapalat, Enrique? Yes po. That is uh, some pictorial na pas never ko na pinaulit. Ano yun sa bench fix? Ay, medyo plan. Joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> Joke, hindi pa. Ayun, pero okay naman. Mas okay naman to. <laughs> yung first impression nyo, na after nyo makita ikaw, uh, Liza, na nakita mo na, oh wow, kulot yung book. Nagulat, nagulat talaga ako nung nasa salon kami kasi yun ang unang kumatapos. When I was walking to the seer, nahita ko siya. So, ay, shoot! 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 May foggy! So, nagulat talaga ako. And then I called the sister. It's like, grabe, ang bomo ni Kenny. She's like, oh, nga, ganyan, ganyan. Hindi, tapos nag-cap ako. Pagkatapos. Ah, nag-cap siya after. Ang ganda kayo. Dito ka, di lang ako sa nangingam ako. How about yung... Kasi feeling ko kasi maiksi lang. Pag humaba yan, maganda. Parang kay Teo. Mas lalo ka bang ano? Mas lalo kang na-in love kay Enrique as you see him yung curl. Pwede pa naman. It's the same thing. I guess, parang lang maiba naman. How about you, yung hair ni Liza? Ganda. I like the curl. Yung curly niya, yung highlights. I really like the highlights. 
sabi niya lang. And, um, I like it. Uh, gusto ko pag may bangs in siya. Ayoko ko pag sobrang curly lang ng hair niya. Yung Agnes times. Yung, ano na nga yung hair ko? Yung forever more. Hindi naman sobra, pero yung too much curls, uh, ayoko masyado. Yung OA na curls. Yung... Kasi naaalala niya yung mga characters. Hindi, <laughs> hindi naman. Parang mas gusto ko na na little curl lang. Hindi yung sobra. Medyo wavy na may konti. Natanda namin, yeah. nagpa-curl ka rin nun sa, ano, di ba? Forever more, tama. Ayan. Yeah. Yeah. This is different kasi may highlight. Ayun, ayun. 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 Ayun, Nainggit eh, no? Kaya nagtanong. Magkano? Hindi, mas gusto daw ni Nicky ng pakulot. Sabay na yun, sabay na yun. Ay, mura lang doon. Sobrang bait na lang. Asin, nilibre kami doon pagpunta lang. Nilibre lang kasi nagulat kami. And then he gave us products pa. So, wala. Wow. Nagka idea si Alan. Sa table, friend ako ni Liza. So, warprob na rin ako after. Hindi, <laughs> tanong ko lang, last na lang. Uh, dit, kasi every time na may mga digital ano uh, movie, parang laging out of the box yung mga character. And then parang parang walang limit yung mga gagawin. This time ba, may mga kakakitaan din na parang mga intimate scene or parang I mean I mean kiss the in on screen something like that. Hindi lang kiss joke. <laughs> I'm not ready for mature role. Joke. Hindi. Um we'll see. Abangan niyo na lang po. Um like we said it's more mature and daring pero not to the point na it's out of our brand. So yeah. Meron namang intimate pero not as much as we think. <laughs> Pero meron din. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, kung meron man, how do you describe that internet? Pero lang po, bahala, intindihin kung ano yung nangyayari sa sila. I think ang gamit sa mga si Sir Mark. Ah, si Sir Mark. Okay. Ayoko. Okay. <laughs> Sabi sa akin, super intimate. Wow! Oh! Oh! Nagulat <laughs> sila. <laughs> week 1, week 2 pa lang, di pa nila alam sa week 10. Na. Wow! Pagka <laughs> yung daddy ko nila live stream. <laughs> If there is, how do you prepare for that super intimate scene? Shah, total mouthwash. Alone together, total mouthwash. Actually, hindi pa nga nung una. Sabi ko kasi when we were filming, she's the one before. Di ba may kissing scene sila ni Ate Bea? Lagi ko siya nakikita noon na nagmamouth, yung malaking mouthwash. Nakakalahati. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's it. Tapos nung alaw together, yung first scene namin na kiss, kakakain niya lang yata ng anong kinain mo noon. Parang yung mga street food sa UP. Mga, mga kwek-kwek. Kwek-kwek. Sabi ko, di man lang nag-toothbrush to. <laughs> siya lang comfortable. <laughs> Oo, oh, sinabi ko yun. Uh, sabi mo, huwag na kasi ako rin naman, I smell like... Oo, sinabi ka din naman. Tuna. Mas mabaw ko yun. Tuna. 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 Yes, but parang ano, mas comfortable lang ako kasi para sa akin, it's work lang talaga, as in work siya. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Ako kasi medyo na kinakabahan ako kung may ganun eh. Pero mas magaling ako mag-kiss. Mas, mas, mas relax lang siya, mas kayang dahil ako na ako. Pero pagdating sa kiss, siyempre, yun eh. Sample daw, sample. Sample, sample. Guys, live streaming time. Ang mga batang nanonood. Oh, in one word, Liza, how do you describe? How do you describe? Oh, yan na, kahit late ako, ha. Wala na si Mochi Air. 
In one word, how do you describe li- ano, uh, Ken Kiss? Ken Kiss? Parang grade 2. <laughs> oh my God! So yung ganun, parang dapat kasi maganda yung timing. Sobrang dapat sakto yung timing. Kaya medyo nagsasyal tayo ng ganun tayo. Pero hindi naman lahat ganun. Yun sa lang yun. Excuse me, yun sa ano? Ha? Basta nung sa Croatia may nasira na kama. Oh my! Revelation yun ha? Take away ng um, scene, tapos hindi ko Sobrang na... kinilig siya sa akin. Nahulog siya. <laughs> Nahulog. Hindi na hindi na yung kama na... Na... <laughs> 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 Sama na summer's <laughs> Sabi na din. Parang nabuy si Tox. Tumulong na ako na sa sira yung kama. <laughs> okay, as much as we want to accommodate more <laughs> questions. More, 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 more. Sir, mo na lang. Sir, mo na lang. Sir, Make it with you. By the way, please don't forget to use the hashtag for today. Hashtag make it with you. Uh, media kick off. Okay? Uh, thank you in Croatia, Fala. Back to you, 